Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of the Long Dark Wintermute episode 2. And that's it. We're heading out. We're, we're leaving. We are going back to see Jeremiah. We have a long way to go. Now, I've rested through the night. We've got all our gear sorted out. We've left some bits and pieces behind, but nothing too major. We're a little bit over our carry capacity, as usual. But we should be okay. Uh, weather seems a little bit cold. And that's fine. There's no meat left outside, which is fine, because I think I ate it all. It's actually really windy. It's sound oh, okay, that might be why the wind chill. I think there's a bit of a wind, and the wind chill is affecting us. That's fine. But we should have plenty of daylight. I mean, we it's, it's still morning. Hopefully we can get back to Jeremiah before it gets dark. We do have a long way to go, though. And there are, there's a couple of things I might want to check out on the way back. Uh, certainly we need to get back down to the maintenance yard, where we repair Jeremiah's rifle. Because there's a uh, ghost people supply cache down there. Whoever the eco terrorists are, I can't remember who they're. Called, the ghost walkers or something. Maybe I'm making that up. I'm not sure. But they've left some supplies down there, which I would like to try and find if we can. Now we should be clear of wolves until we actually get out of this area. We are walking really slowly. We are carrying, I suppose, part of the problem is we're going to be walking through deep snow and we're carrying a lot of gear. But this feels like a very slow pace of walking. The problem is I can't just sprint all the time. It's a lovely clear day, though. Wind is definitely picked up a bit. Uh, let's just make sure we actually are ready for confrontation. Should we have one? Get the rifle out. We've still got 17 bullets, which is pretty good. We've got uh, 10 in the magazine, 7 spare. Killed three wolves around here, which was pretty good going of us. They only almost killed us like twice. This is going to be a long, slow walk today, isn't it? I feel like I just feel like we're walking a lot slower than we do normally. I'm not sure. We did check up out there. That led back up to the cave. There wasn't much in the cave apart from some firewood that I burnt just to cook up all the wolf steaks from all the wolves we killed. I mean, there's still more meat left back there. But just, I can't carry any more. If, if the weight is already slowing us down this much, then we're in problems. There we go. We're picking up the pace a bit now. Heading downhill always helps. And some birds flying overhead behind us. Now this will take us down to the gate, and then from the gate we just need to work our way around the edge of the lake and get back to the maintenance yard. I'm hoping this is going to be fairly quick and easy, but we'll have to see. We might have to spend like an hour or so resting up. I don't know. Our gear is in pretty good condition. If we, As soon as we're standing in a, out of the wind a little bit, if I stand here for example, there we go. Yeah, see now we're warming up again. So I'm not too worried about body temperature right now. Our gear is good. Uh, right, we've got deer over there. That's a good sign. Don't normally find deer just standing about if there's a bunch of wolves in the area. There's a bear! There's a bear! There's a bear! There's a bear! Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, first trick here is not to piss off the bear. Oh, there's a little hide over there. Okay, and something dead. That's another dead deer. Okay. Now, let's not go so fixated on bear number one that we miss bear number two. I'm not saying there is a bear number two, I'm just saying it would be a bad thing to have it come up behind us. Now, we're not carrying any meat or anything, so we should be fine. Uh, we're coming down around here, so we're going to work our way down this way. There's the supply cache I was talking about. Oh, the forest talkers. Not the ghost walkers. Yeah, that's something else entirely. Um, you know, if you wanted to turn around, that would be lovely. I wouldn't mind checking out that hide over there, but... I mean, I could try and kill the bear now. And just take some long-range shots at it. Problem is, it's going to take two or three bullets to put that thing down. Bears are tough. So we'd have to engage at long range. Have to engage at long range. Just to account for the reload. It looks like we can get past it, okay. There's the maintenance yard. Okay, well that's our first bear. A little bit unexpected, but also I've been expecting a bear for a while. 
I don't know if that's the man hunting bear, the one that attacked Jeremiah, the one we shot in the face. Um, but we've been expecting a bear for a while. I said at the beginning, as soon as they gave us a rifle, we're going to have a bear. So that's fine. Now, okay, so I'm coming in from like here. Where's where's that gear? Is it over this way? We're still good on daylight and body temperature and stuff. I can rest in there and warm up and eat up and stuff. Um, so let's see. Let's have a look over this way. There should be, should be a supply cache somewhere around here. We're going to be looking for a small box. And I don't think it's inside the combat. It's far enough away. It's back up. Yeah, we should, we'll be next to the... It's got to be over this way. Can I get up here and actually have a look around? That'd be good. Get a bit of altitude. Uh, I can't see the bear, but he should be back over that way. So that should be, that should be fine. I don't think the bear is currently actively tracking us right now, which I do appreciate. Let's be honest. Of all the things I want in life right now, bears are. Bears are one of the very few things in life I don't want right now. What I do want is this bloody supply cache. Where are you? Problem is I'm not very good at reading maps. And also it's a very small thing we're looking for. Where are those birds? Are those birds circling something? Or are they travelling? Can't see them. I mean, whatever we're looking for has got to be fairly well hidden, because obviously... Why would you hide something if you're going to do a bad job of it? Oh no. Oh no, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Oh no! Oh no! We weren't meant to go this way. We weren't meant to go this way. I can't get back. Oh crap. Have I got myself stuck? Where even am I? Damn it. Oh, there's a wolf down there. Okay, that's, that's less good. There's the bear. There's a wolf. And because there's no jumping in this game, I can't get back up over this. I just walked off that, and then as soon as I did it, I thought... I thought, oh no. Oh no, I'm going to hit spacebar just futilely. Because it's like, that would normally work in most games. But not in this one. Okay. This is a problem. Is it a problem the game developers anticipated? Probably not. Honestly. I have gotten stuck in the long dark before. Um... I might better get around that way. If I fall off here, it's gonna hurt. Like, a lot. Ooh, boy. Okay, that was fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, ooh, okay, I didn't like that. Right. I feel like we're... Where are we? Looking at this, there's the main bit of the lake. I wish I knew what that was meant to be. I mean, the is it down there? Maybe. I don't know, maybe. Problem is, I don't know. I don't know what's in this supply cache. I don't know if we actually want any of it. I don't know if we can afford to carry any of it. And I don't want to waste too much time on a whole bunch of ifs. So I don't want to spend too long doing this because if we waste a bunch of time trying to find a supply cache that I may or may not even want, you know, that's just dumb. That wolf's over that way. He's not getting too close, but got to keep an eye on him. Shit. Really? Wow. Screw you. Crap, crap, crap. Reload. Okay. I'm a bit surprised at that. That was um, a very... That seemed like a long-range wolf. That honestly seemed like a long-range wolf. But we managed to kill it. Two shots. Missed the headshot, unfortunately. Shot it in, like, the bum... Okay, the supply cache has now cost me a couple of years off my life, and a bunch of time, and two bullets. What was that? Okay, that was a weird noise. That's fine. Oh, I think it's just stuff creaking at the maintenance yard. The maintenance yard makes a bunch of noise. It's fine. I don't think the bear is coming after me. 
which would have been my primary fear right now. Maybe I'm in the wrong place on the map. I don't know. It's got to be on this side of the river. Let's just quickly check up here, and then I'm going to call it quits. Because um, we don't want to run into bears or wolves or anything. I mean, we've got 15 bullets left, but I, I don't want to have to use them, you know? This is the thing. I've only got 15 bullets. I can't make any more. Once they're gone, they're gone. Oh, we're actually getting quite close. So we're right up by the lake. We're kind of on this bit here. So it should be directly behind me, I guess. Damn it. Maybe I'm even reading the map wrong. I'm not sure. Still don't know why that wolf came after us. I couldn't even see the wolf. I mean, I know they, they smell us more than they see us, but... Okay, that's got to be that. So it's got to... Okay, right. If that's... Okay, if that is that, then it's got to be on the other side of this. We're still, we're still in the morning. That's fine. So it should be just round here? Maybe by that funny-looking tree. Oh, hang on. What's with the funny-looking tree? Why is there a funny-looking tree? Is that tree hollow? Ah, okay, that's what we should be looking for. There we go. You in here? No. What? Damn it! I was I was really convinced of my own intelligence there that that was actually going to be the spot. That would have been a perfect spot for it. Why would you not put a supply cache in there? That's almost, per okay, that's almost perfectly where it's meant to be. Maybe it's a bit further up this way. Because you don't see hollow trees like that very often. And the last one we saw had the supply cache inside it. Okay, wind is picking up again. Although we have such good gear that our body temperature is actually keeping us alive. Um, okay, this takes us up to a bridge. Oh, that's... Okay, right. I know kind of know where we are, actually. Um, yeah, let's keep going around this way, I guess, because... Yeah, we need to keep on moving. I'm going to give up on the supply cache. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's meant to be. That kind of looks like the spot, maybe, but I could be wrong. Maybe the game devs just put it there to try and, you know, suss me out. Okay. Um, we've got some vehicles. To, did we see this last time? Did we come around this way? I'm not sure. I don't like it when it's windy like this, because you can't hear crap. Did we come across this bridge last time? Yeah. I don't know. Let's, um... Get in the vehicle. Am I sitting on something? Oh, okay. I haven't been in this vehicle before, so that's interesting. Maybe someone's left some bullets in here? Don't take this food. No, okay. I'm going to take that food because I want to actually eat it. Um, I also want to get the note, but I'm sitting on the note, so... Let's switch seats. Charcoal note. A note describing a route to a hidden cache of supplies. I mean... I... Um, okay. This letter appears to be written in charcoal and it's made of dirt. I've been stuck in this damn truck for eight hours while there's wolves circle. Not sure I'll be able to get a supply stash I left along the rail line in the marsh. Oh, back in the marsh. Okay. Uh, fine. So where have I come? I've come up this way, so I'm here now. So we want to head back along here, but there's a landslide. So we've got to go... How did we even get across this last time? I don't know. Locomotive engine. Yeah, so we, we want to walk back up this way, get back here, and then we want to go to uh, the marsh, which is... No, that's Jeremiah's Mystery Lake. Yeah, Forlorn Musket... Ah, there we go, okay. Mystery Lake Supply Cache. Interesting. And there's also a shortwave radio tower. And a bunch of... Oh, yeah. yeah there's actually a bunch of stuff around here. Okay. Uh, right, I should probably eat something while I'm in this vehicle. We're nice and warm in here, so that'll be fine. Uh, we did pick up a bunch of beef jerky, so let's eat the beef jerky. Uh, sort by... Take. Always consume the lowest quality stuff first. There we go. And then drink some water. We should be okay on water, I think. I hope. How much have we got left? One and a half litres, that's fine. And we are nice and warm, fully fed. Let's go. 
The problem with when it's windy like this is you can't hear as much. I don't like it when it's windy. How did I miss that vehicle last time? Maybe I ignored the vehicle because we were running out of time and daylight and stuff. That might have been why. I'm just not sure I remember this bridge. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, the bridge is broken, so we definitely didn't come across the bridge. <laughs> uh, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Also, I've just realised that's the wrong direction. Because we want to be going this direction, not this direction. I was heading this direction. So, yeah. That's fine. Well, I discovered the broken bridge, so that counts for something. Okay. Sorry, those rabbits spooked me a little bit there, because they ran over that hill like something was chasing them. There's definitely not a way into this, is there? Wait, there's a there's a med kit in there. Or, well, there's a... Not a med kit, but there's... Stuff in there. Can you actually get into these? I've never been able to find a way in. Oh. There's a door. What? Did I miss the door previously? Okay. I wonder if that keeps bears and wolves out. I don't know. Okay, I can't actually do much in here, but there's some medical supplies. I could use this. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, there's a couple of those we passed on the way here, so I'll have to check those out. Damn, that wind is really picking up. Luckily, our wind chill uh, protection is so high, we're actually able to handle this pretty well. We're not actually losing any body temperature right now. Our biggest concern is going to be... Whoa, what? How did I sprain my wrist? Oh, am I carrying too much? Oh, I can't hold a weapon. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What do I need to treat that with? What do I need to treat that with? Uh, painkillers. Okay. Is that because I'm carrying too much or what? Okay. That might be because I'm carrying too much, but I'm only carrying I'm only like three kilos over the limit. Why would that sprain my wrist? Did I fall off something, maybe? I don't know, but that was rubbish. I don't like it. Um, we definitely need to be able to carry weapons at this point. You know, we saw a lot of wolves on the way here, and now there's bears around, and everything's just pretty terrible. So... Oh, it's a deer. Okay. I could just see something standing there. I didn't like it. Uh, we didn't check this vehicle out, did we? I think we ignored this on the way in, because we were running out of time in daylight. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Energy bar. Okay. Open the visors for luck. Look down that wind. That wind is so windy. Not gonna be able to hear stuff, that's the problem. Not gonna be able to hear footsteps. We're, it's gonna like uh, hide the sound of wolves barking and stuff. It's, uh, wind is a big problem. It does sound great though. Sound design in this game, as always, fantastic, top notch, good work. Okay. So this is the derailed locomotive. Oh, Christ! Why? Why? Why would you do that to me? Why? Okay, was it running from something, or was it just being dumb? Maybe it was just being dumb. We almost got trampled by a blooming deer. I was not expecting that. I just l I heard the sound, and looked up, and I thought, oh, it's just a deer. And then all I saw was a deer. There was just... Christ, that scared me. Okay. Fuck you, dear. I don't know what you were running for. But... Oh come on! I came down steps. How did that? How did that hurt myself? Am I on the wrong side of the drama? Uh, okay. I'm getting a bit lost. I'm getting a little bit confused. I'm getting spooked by deer. This is not looking well. This is not bode well for us. Okay, there's no way across this. Is this? How do I get around this last? No, there is. Okay. So where are we? Locomotive. Yeah. 
and then we have to go around the landslide. Fine. Okay, I remember. I remember what we're doing. I'm not at all concerned that we're actually losing a lot of daylight now. It's all fine. God damn that deer! I swear to God, that properly made me jump in my chair and everything. Could have done without that. Thank you very much. Okay. Just keep moving. We're probably not going to have time to try and hit up those supply caches on the way back in the marsh. I, uh... Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff to do in the marsh, but I just don't think we're going to do it. Not at least until we've spoken to Jeremiah. Probably Jeremiah is going to have other fetch quests for us that's going to involve going to, like, the old Spence farmstead and stuff. You know, based on our experiences with Grey Mother, I think that's going to be the way the game kind of handles that kind of stuff. Right, is that the landslide? That is a landslide. Now, to get around it, I think we came up this way, didn't we? So we're just backtracking now. Which is always kind of never a fun thing in games, when the games make you just repeat places you've already been to. Which is, you know, kind of expecting them to throw another wrench in our plans. Like, for some reason, something had broken the gate and we had to come back a different way from the hunting lodge via the cave or something. That's what my thinking was. So I'm pretty certain this is exactly the way we came in. There should be some trees... yeah. Yeah, we crossed this earlier. There's a wolf down there, that's fine. I can shoot the wolf, or I can... scare him off with a flare or something. I am actually carrying a bunch of flares. Might want to save those until it gets dark, though. But if we can get down to there, and then we can come back up on the other side. Hopefully it's just the one wolf. I mean, if I can get him with a headshot, that's not bad. might be worth just taking him out with, a sh with the rifle now, and not worrying about it. This is going to be a, a test of my accuracy. Where's the way across? Wasn't there a fallen tree or something? There we go, fallen tree. Yeah, because we had to go down that way. Yeah, so this will take us across there. We loop back around, come down here, and then we go back up the slope over there. That's it. Okay, where's that wolf gone? I am very aware of the, you know, lack of time for this, but if I could take out that wolf quick, you know, safely from up here, that would actually be really handy. Where the hell did it go? Ah, huh, okay. Because I don't want to have to face the wolf, like, up that narrow corridor there. I would, re I would really rather shoot you now, I'll be honest. Trying to listen to see if I could hear it. I think the wolf heard me talking and knows my plan and is now hiding somewhere. God damn it. Okay. Fine. You want to be like that wolf? Fine. Oh, there you are. Damn it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to take a shot now and try and wound this thing. Well, hopefully kill it actually, but we'll see. Is there a way of stabilising the gun? No. Okay. Whew. Okay. That worked. Bit of a waste of ammo, because I'm killing a wolf and I'm not going to get anything from it. I'm not going to take any hide or any meat, which is what I would normally love to do in this situation. But right now I just want to get home. Um, it's going to be dark. I was entirely wrong that we would be able to do this before I Wait. Why did I have to... Okay, I swear I had to go up that corridor last time. Could I have got around the wolf? Without any of that bullshit? Okay, fine. Um, do I want to just walk across the ice? I mean, how thin is the ice? Okay, that's fine. I was a bit worried about ice, but... Fine. Okay, Wolfie's down. Why is she doing okay if everything apart from daylight? Other than that, everything is going fine. Why did I have to take a really long winded path to get around here last time? Why couldn't I have just gone up there? Was I just really dumb? I think I might have been really dumb last time. Because there is a supply cache up there somewhere, but again, we're kind of running out of daylight, and I'm already carrying too much stuff, and there's no point going for it. 
God damn, this uphill in thick snow really is really sick. Can you imagine if we were trying to run away from a wolf right now? That would kind of suck. Oop, game. Game. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. That was the game loading in an army of bears to block my way home. That's what just happened. Okay, other side of the landslide, good. Let's just keep on moving. That should be, yeah, there's the tunnel up ahead. Get in there, we're back in the marsh, and then the marsh is a straight shot back to Mystery Lake. The only problem being, it's a very long straight shot covered in wolves. And I'm expecting probably a bear. I just heard a wolf howl in the distance, but that should be fine. I mean, how many wolves? I've killed like four wolves so far on this trip. No, five wolves, because I didn't like, clock one in the head with a... Yeah, I think I killed five wolves, because on when the first day we set out, I managed to clock one in the head with a flare pistol. I don't know what the local wolf population is, but that's got to be a fairly significant dent. Okay, and this will take us back to... Uh, what was it called? Forlorn Muskeg. Or Muskegee. Or Mus Muskegee. I have no idea. Okay, so this seems like a good time to take a break, though. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to have a drink. I'm going to settle my nerves. And then we're going to push on through Forlorn Muskegee. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, as always. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.